<laughs> yeah, see? Issue solved. There you go. Boom. <laughs> there we have it. And then it's time for some astrology. Ooh. Astrology. Is it really? Give it to us. Give it to us, JD. What's the difference between astrology and ass astrology? Ass trollogy, then. It's like trolling ass. It's like, yeah, <gasps> the ass is trolling somebody. Or the oh, ass okay. is being trolled. Yeah. Got you. Like got troll you, got the you. ass. Ass trollogy. Okay. <laughs> Let's let's do Don't it. Don't be disrespectful to the stars, the moon, and the sun. Okay. Okay. I'm excited mm -hmm. for today's astrology segment. I want to give a big shout out to Leroy and all of the the wisdom, knowledge, and insight that he shared with us, our audience, and you know, just individually. Um, he he's a Capricorn sun, but he has an Aquarius placement. I feel like he has an Aquarius moon. Shout oh, out Aquarius moon. Aquarius moon. Shout out. <laughs> So as far as current transits go, right now, the sun is in Aquarius, Aquarius and the moon is in Cancer. Y'all know? Leo. <laughs> it was. It was in Cancer, really? but now it's oh, in Leo. Really right. Okay, go ahead. So we're right now, we're having a full moon in Leo. Mm -hmm. Right now. Right now. Right now. So what's, what's interesting about this, I don't know if y'all knew this, whenever there's a full moon, the sun and the moon are opposed to each other. Right. So if you look at the, the wheel, if you look at the zodiacal wheel, the sign of Leo is directly across from the sign of Aquarius. So it's interesting to know that those pairings like that is going to occur every time you have a full moon. So when you're looking at someone's birth chart for the first time, you can immediately tell if they were born on a full moon because their sun and their moon placement are opposed to each other. So if you ever know somebody who's like they act a little weird on a full moon, that could be the reason. Um, so <clears throat> the sign of Leo, which Nasima should be very familiar with because you have an early degree Mercury placement in Leo, which is fixed fire, right? So it that's the whole sun. Fi fixated Leo. ways of thinking about the things that you see. So I would say like a visionary or leadership qualities. If you know anybody with a, a significant Leo placement, they're typically in positions where people are looking to them as an authority, as Leo embodies the archetype of the sun. Right. And last time or before Leroy was here, we talked about how uh, cancer is the moon and the very next sign, Leo, is the sun. Right. Um, and I looked I wanted to look at a chart, a famous person's chart, so that people could be more familiar with or recognize these characteristics um, easily. So when I looked up Leo Sun celebrities, first one that popped up was President Barack Obama. Did y'all know he was a Leo? Oh, wow. Yeah, you told us. Yeah. He's a Leo. And he also has a Gemini moon, Aquarius rising, and Leo Mercury. So when people have two placements in that sign, like he, he has a Leo sun and a Leo Mercury, that Leo energy is going to be more prominent. And I thought in my mind, I bet there's a lot of presidents that were Leos, right? And I looked it up. Do y'all want to guess which sign has the most presidents so far? Leo? Leo. That that was my guess. No, the, the oh? answer. You want to guess one more? One more guess. Cancer. Pisces. No, that was actually third, and that's tied. Oh for wait, third. wait, wait, wait! Give me one more chance. Sure. Um, Pisces. No, not Pisces. It's not Taurus. Pisces. No, it's a fire sign. <clears throat> it's a fire sign, right? What are the What are the actually? Aries. No. Oh. I'm I'm surprised. I'm really surprised by this, you guys. So President Biden, that is the other fire sign. Good job, but Libra. that is not the right answer. It's a Libra. So <laughs> Cancer, Capricorn, Leo, Libra, and Pisces are all tied for third place with four presidents each. Okay. But we said Second Pisces place. Right. But those are those are only uh four presidents uh, each oh, okay. for those. Okay, okay, okay. Coming in at second place is the sign of Aquarius. Five presidents have been Aquarius. Wow. And first place, Biden put it over the the limit because it was tied for five. Six presidents have been Scorpios. Wow. Okay. Isn't that interesting? I Ooh. never would have guessed that. I mean, astrology is full of insight and Trump? surprises. And oh, Trump uh, is a Gemini. And okay. What, who else is a Gemini? I I don't want to speak out of school. shout out to those Scorpios. Shout out to the Scorpios. Yeah. Ninth George house Bush? energy. Mm. 
uh my guess is he was a gemini i don't know i don't remember <laughs> <laughs> but yeah scorpio's the most aquarius is the second most and then cancer capricorn leo libra pisces what interested me most about obama's uh chart right so you know the the rising sign is based on what time you were born and your location right so his says that he was born in uh in hawaii so i'm assuming that the information is accurate <laughs> Uh, I'm assuming that that information is consistent with where he was. Actually what about Michael? I mean, born. Michelle. <gasps> oh, yeah, yeah. Huh. His lovely wife, uh, partner, partner. Yeah, Michael. I would love to see their child. Sinistry. Sorry. So, yeah, that's your astrology lesson for the week. We love Michelle, Michael. Michael uh, Michelle. Thank you, JD. Thank that you. was really fun. I like that. <laughs> uh,